I gotta be careful what I say. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Representative, I've got a question for you. Are you in the school board? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I've got a Second Amendment related question related to the Milford School District. Are adults allowed to be armed on school property for the purposes of defending the kids? No. I'm almost positive not. But we do not have any metal detectors. So I don't know how enforced it is. How, what would happen to a, a, an adult or, or teacher? You probably just have to leave. I see. I don't think any more than that. Yeah. Is it, is it, is it appropriate to, to kind of force kids into a concentrated area like that where guns are theoretically banned? Force kids in what area? Well, the kids are forced to be here to a certain extent. Yeah. I mean, unless they go through the yeah. rigmarole of homeschooling. Well, you know, it's a federal law, it's a state law that guns aren't allowed in school zones. There's no state law. You know? Yeah. But guns are allowed in school homes. Mm -hmm. So should you maybe stop forcing kids to be here if they can't be protected? They are protected. How so? They're protected by access, limited access to the building. You think that would really they can't work? Get in the building. It against work. someone who is determined. It does get in, you know. I mean how how far can you go? You have any military experience? Yeah. You know a little bit about perimeter yeah. defense, but mobile how far, defense. How far can you go? I mean you're gonna make it so that Every child and every teacher gets a strip search before they come into the building? I'm not suggesting that. I'm you know? suggesting freedom, that you maybe allow people to either not be here or to be armed while they're here. Oh, I think that Milford has is, done all the precautions they have to protect their children. Except letting people students. have firearms, which is the most effective defense. I don't know if that's the truth. We don't let people have firearms. Have there been any massacres in the no. areas with lots of guns? No, there hasn't been any in Milford. Where has the massacres happened? The massacres have happened in no-gun zones. Right. That's why I worried about this being a no-gun zone to some extent. Yeah. Well, you're talking to a person now that, that thinks that... i got to be careful what I say. That guns are a deterrent to violence. I believe in that. But I think there's a balance that you have to have. I believe that everybody has a right to have a weapon, but I think it should be controlled. It's not strongly controlled. I don't see any reason to have any citizen to be able to have a weapon that shoots off 50 rounds in five seconds. I can think of lots of reasons. Columbine, uh, prevention of that, that kind of happen. massacre. That happen. A new town, prevention that of that kind of massacre. That, that wouldn't happen there. You know, just like I voted to have guns in the state house. You know, I don't know three times now, because I think they're a deterrent. I think that but you, you deny I the kids walking, that kind of safety? I think walking down the street, I think walking down the street, you don't know who's carrying a weapon, who's not. Well, you don't know it here either. Yeah, well, I don't think so. I think that if they were allowed in here, they'd have to be allowed like in the, with a police officer or something like that. So? And when we had police officers, we had an arm person covered four buildings. Well, Columbine yeah. had one and it didn't help. Yeah, well, we have one, <laughs> we had one that covers four buildings. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's even worse. But I think that we've mm -hmm. taken as many controls as we can to, to protect the students here. And, okay, well, not much has I happened am, that I know of. But, but, yeah. but I still believe that, that guns are a very big deterrent to violence. Okay, well, I appreciate the transparency. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Now, I especially appreciated that conversation because uh, he was actually kind of late for the meeting and he still, I think the meeting may have already started, and he was still willing to give me a, a little bit of precedence. So I was honored by that. Are you with the school district, sir? Uh, I'm on the school board, Senator, yes. Senator, hello. Uh, didn't recognize you with the cap on. World champ. Got a question for you. Uh -huh.
New Hampshire's State House, among the least bad governing institutions on earth. But even here, legislators plot theft and destruction. However, they don't do it without opposition. The New Hampshire Liberty Alliance stands in their path and stands ready to train you in the ways of the Citizen Freedom Lobby. Visit NHLiberty.org to get involved.